the search for a man police say stole a sports car, then used it for a dangerous street takeover in South L.A. Good evening. This is the KTLA 5 News at 530. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Pedro Rivera. LAPD detectives want to take that man into custody. They say he stole a high-powered sports car, then used it to stage an ear-splitting street takeover. Officers witnessed it, even tried to pull him over, but he sped off and escaped. KTLA Sandra Mitchell joins us live from downtown LA where she is tracking the case. Sandy. Yeah, Sharon Pedro, LAPD says this is part of a growing trend. These thieves are stealing these cars, often muscle cars, from other places as far away as Las Vegas, bringing them here to LA to participate in these street takeovers and really dangerous stunts. Brakes screaming, engine roaring, a street takeover in South LA. That orange car going in circles, a stolen Dodge Charger. Scary. They don't they don't give they don't care about nobody. They'll run over people, they don't care. <laughs> This wild scene happened April 30th at the intersection of Vernon Avenue and Figueroa Street in South LA. Especially dangerous because there were passengers hanging out of the car windows. A few minutes later and just about a mile away, <laughs> LAPD zeroed in on the driver of the stolen car. Where they try to conduct the traffic stop. Unfortunately, that driver failed to stop, so the officers then took off on them. Uh, they were lucky enough to get a license plate. Turns out the license plate was actually stolen from another car. More than a month went by, and then police found the car at Vernon and McKinley. But they're still looking for this driver, described as a Hispanic male, 18 to 25, with black hair and a mustache. They want to take him into custody before he pulls this dangerous stunt again. LAPD says the suspect has no connection to the legal owner of the car. I talked to the owner. He has no idea who stole his vehicle. He has all the keys in possession. I actually showed him pictures and, uh, of the driver and how his car is being used in a burnout and a takeover, and he was shocked. The LAPD does have a street racing task force assigned to cases just like this. Already this year, they've made 188 arrests. They've also impounded 170 cars. Again, still looking for the driver of that stolen Dodge Charger. We're live tonight outside LAPD headquarters, downtown LA. I'm Sandra Mitchell. Sharon Pedro, back to you.